Okay, hi everyone. We are going to be replicating this very fast. So we should do this in the next 10 minutes and see how we can come up with some a better, not better, replicate the design. That's our main goal. So let's get straight into it. So first up, first things first, we have our main background. Uh, we should draw it, pick a rectangle tool. And um, I'll be turning on the stroke using something like, no, instead use the pure white. And um, we are going to be in the background. I think we have something like an arrow like that, some sort of arrow shape or something like that. So we could do this in different methods. We could have probably have triangles like so, um, rectangles instead or squares like so. We duplicate them um, each on each. So they have that arrow like. So you could see the arrow here. Okay, you could see the arrow here. Let me change the color of this to something darker. Yeah, so something like this. So you could have a duplicate to this side and uh, probably want to scale it. You could scale them, the two of them on top like this, like so. So use the shape builder to select everything. With the shape builder to you could subtract this part and subtract um, probably subtract this part and just have this arrow so you could duplicate it afterwards if you want to do that. So hold on Alt, you click, drag, click, drag, click, drag, click, drag, and that's it. And you have the arrow. So we come, we place the arrow on here. You come here and you could scale it much as much as you want and uh, have something like that. Yeah, so I think this will do. Then um, you could see here, the color here is kind of different. Let's send this to uh, behind you know, bring them in front take this one to the top let's see um okay i think yes this a different slightly different color there um, so we could place this one here and then um, change it to just decrease the opacity hsb hsb you could drop it we we'll probably bring it into the green a little to bit yeah so i think this is okay for me now in this case it's okay you could check it by going into view then trim and then it should give you a preview of how it it will look like um bring it down so yeah so something like that um you could on come out from the trim by clicking on it again so good um now we the rest of this are very simple i'm just going to show you how you're going to do this it's very simple also but uh, i'll just show you how you're going to do that so we have two shapes they are both rectangular shapes let's pick the color behind here and then um, keep this here we duplicate it um, just once i think this one is shorter so like that then you tilt it a little bit and then um, here she's a little bit tilted a little bit i think like this yes um not too much um introduce again yeah like this i think is okay place them in the middle and so so we have this one and we have this so we are going to make duplicates of each of them but before we do that let me just get the pictures right into the software Okay, so, so to get something, an effect like this, where you have it outside of the other one, it's very simple. Let's just um, have the shapes we want to use to mask them, have them in duplicate. So we have this, we press Ctrl C, Ctrl F to duplicate it and press, place it in front. I think, I did I press F? Let's go back, Ctrl C, Ctrl F. And um, we could decide to just send that to the back of our and uh, okay bring this on to the front then you select the picture and you clip mask it but now in this case we are having the top of it so we could scale it up like this and that's where we have that so it's like very simple very simple to do let's send this to the back also 
have a duplicate of this control c control v and control c control f instead and then good so we have that one place it in front click 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 and that's it and double click inside you select the border of it and you can drag it out there to get the one you want so like this so so that's how you could do it i think this has been chopped out and i think it's because yeah that's the image it's just the image not the host house so good now we have this we can select the two of them um yeah i think it's something we're selecting that is okay good select we could group them so they become one and on this day i can put them in the center we we'll make them smaller they don't need to be too big good so this effect is next i think these ones are very basic and very simple you could just place them there this one this effect is next and then to do that is simple click right um you see mother's day celebration um place ctrl c um that's ctrl shift c instead and um you could place that in the center you could use um unbounded as the font of choice so give it a very big font mm, let's make this bigger so it equates the size of it then reduce it and um, we bring it to this place yeah now uh the color we'll be using for it we just pick it so you don't have to look for it now we all you could just do you could go to like to click on it and try it's highlighted or selected go to effects you go to effect you go to wave warp you go to wave and uh, we're still having the same thing uh, just flag instead yeah flag is the right one to use uh we'll be using flag but we'll not make it too pronounced okay and um, i think that's how it is so we used flag flag is the main um effects you should use in case it's too much you can drop it down a little bit and okay and i think that is okay for me just the font difference difference um, between them so let's use the one we kept as duplicate for the, the effect instead So I have up and um i think that is okay is that okay on top of it to not be too thick so i think that would be very okay for it and then you could skin top a little bit to meet it so yeah that's it that's um uh, how to do that text he said and next ones are just text and then the rest and, and so on and so forth so let's see if we can have those here um Um, and that's just all the rest is for you to add um the shapes here and just add names and so on and so forth so it's very easy the text the effects and everything so this is day nine of the whole replication phase for the designs challenge for the design challenge so i hope to see you guys in the next one bye